Did you ever hear about the tale of a mischievous monkey and the half-chopped log? Well, sit back, relax, and let me take you on a journey to a time when a temple was being constructed on the outskirts of a city. The temple had a lot of woodwork which required many laborers to chop the wood. Wood logs and beams were scattered here and there, and the work of chopping was in full swing. The workers had to go to the city for their midday meal, leaving the construction site deserted for an hour. One day, as usual, the workers left for their meal. There was a log that had been half chopped, with a wedge inserted into it by the workers to ease their work when they returned. That's when a group of monkeys arrived at the site. Among them was a mischievous monkey, known for his unwarranted meddling. The monkey chief asked everyone to not interfere with the objects at the site. All the monkeys moved towards the trees, but the mischievous one stayed back, unnoticed, to continue his mischief. His eyes fell on the half-chopped log. He curiously examined the wedge stuck in the log and then noticed a saw nearby. He picked up the saw and started rubbing it on the wood. Annoyed by the noise it made, he threw the saw away. He then started wondering what would happen if he removed the wedge from the log. The monkey tried pulling the wedge out with all his might. It was stuck tightly between the two parts of the log, much like a strong spring clip. The monkey, however, managed to loosen it a bit and felt triumphant. He exerted more force and started to pull it out. In the midst of this struggle, unbeknownst to him, his tail got stuck between the two halves of the log. As he gave a strong pull and the wedge came out, the two halves of the log snapped back together, trapping his tail. The monkey screamed in pain. Just then, the workers returned. Seeing them, the monkey tried to run away, but his tail got snapped off in the process. He ran away screaming with his broken tail. After narrating the story, Katak said, That's why I say, one should not engage in pointless activities. It could lead to serious harm. What's the point of getting into unnecessary trouble when we have enough food from Pingalax hunting? Damanak replied, So, do you live just to fill your stomach? That's not right. Everyone can feed themselves. Life is meaningful only when it benefits others as well. Besides, if one doesn't use his power and lets it go to waste, he too will eventually face humiliation. Kartak asked, But what are you trying to do? Damanak said, Our master Pingalak is frightened today. I want to find out the cause of his fear. Kartak asked, How do you know they are scared? Damanak replied, It's not that difficult. From Pingalak's behavior, his conversation, his eyes and his face, it's clear that he's scared. I'll go to him, find out the cause of his fear. Using my intelligence, I'll alleviate his fear. In this way, I'll win him over and regain my ministerial position. So the moral of the story is, curiosity without wisdom can lead to trouble. Remember, every action has a consequence. Be wise in your decisions and actions.